friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Megan, Megan Ring with three E's and underscore everywhere on the internet for those of you who do not know me. And today I am going to be bringing you my rhinoplasty nose job Q&A video. Um, it has been a one month post-op now. Um, crazy. This month has flown by honestly, um, but it's also been really long at the same time so we'll get into that later one month post-op here's how we're looking i'm loving my nose so far um the side profile is everything i could have ever wished for um so i'm super super excited with how things are turning out and how my nose is healing but you guys had some questions i asked you guys on instagram uh what questions you had for me about my rhinoplasty about my nose job how it went uh my experience any little bits and pieces. So without further ado, let's get into it. But before we do, make sure to follow all my socials, Megan Marie with three E's and an underscore everywhere on the internet. It's all linked down below. I am so tired. This is a little disclaimer. It's been a long day. I am here in Arizona right now. Clearly this is not the usual setup. I did buy a little ring light and a little tripod for this purpose. So now I have a little studio in Arizona in Colin's apartment. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm excited to tell you guys about my rhinoplasty journey. So the first question that I usually get asked um, when asked about my rhinoplasty, anything to do with my nose job is why did you get your nose done? Um, and really honestly, it stemmed from I did not like my nose before. It's always been a huge insecurity of mine. Yes, I have grown up and grown to appreciate my nose for what it was and I didn't hate it per se. From certain angles, I did hate it, but I mean the front profile, I loved my old nose. I thought she was cute, um, but the moment I turned to the side, I just instantly hated it. I didn't really want pictures of my side profile, and since I am a social media lady, um, it's kind of hard when you hate a certain angle of your face. So I just always knew that I was going to be getting my nose done. Uh, it was just kind of a matter of when, and the pieces all just kind of lined up together for having it done now and um, I'm just so happy with it. I had a little slight deviated septum as well and I just wanted to fix my breathing a bit. Going along with that, the next question is how long did you want a nose job? Um, I've wanted a nose job since as long as I can remember. Um, it's funny too because for some reason, like I guess I didn't talk about it openly online, but a lot of my friends, like, when I announced that I was getting my nose done, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. You've wanted this forever. So like, if you're a friend of mine, you know that this is something that I've been wanting for a long, long time. Honestly, it's probably been since like middle school I wanted a nose job. I just have always hated my side profile and I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to make your nose a little bit better than what it used to be if you have the option to do so. So the next question is, what was the procedure like? Like what happened? How did it go about? What did you experience? And it's kind of funny because I didn't know what to experience. Yeah, like I've watched rhinoplasty videos my whole life. Like it was, I never really, I don't think I realized how big of a surgery a rhinoplasty was um, until I was sitting in the room <laughs> about to be put under by anesthesia. But it was a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be. And um, I just didn't really think, of, like I didn't think it was gonna be happening until I was there. And then I was like, whoa, this is actually happening and we're doing this right now. So I didn't really put much like a thought into like stressing out about it beforehand. But let me tell you how it was uh, if you were interested in rhinoplasty so you know what to expect. So the pre-op was the day before I flew into Miami. Um, that was a whole nother issue. If you didn't watch my Miami vlog, go ahead, click the little card up here. Um, it was crazy getting there. I had to spend way more money than I wanted to on plane tickets because my flight got canceled last time minute. And I had no flights that they offered me because of my flight being canceled. All the flights that they offered uh, didn't get me into Miami in time for my pre-op appointment, which I needed to be at my pre-op appointment to have my surgery. So I was a little stressed out. So we click on the vlog to see how that went and all the behind the scenes of what went down there. Um, but we made it. So I made it to Miami for my pre-op. The office was amazing and beautiful. Everyone was so kind. Um, basically what happened with the pre-op was they took pictures of my nose, front side. I had a consultation um, with one of the office staff, one of the nurses, and she basically told me what I'm gonna need to do, what medications I'm gonna need to pick up for the next day, how I'm gonna need to take the medications, what to expect, what to do if something goes completely wrong, like I have 
severe reactions and have to go to the hospital after surgery. Um, so I got the whole 411, what was going down the next day. I signed paperwork. I met with Dr. Gersey. We talked about my nose. He saw my nose. He did confirm I had a deviated septum. And then he showed me what he made, which was so crazy because going into it, everyone's like, oh, have like inspo pictures of what you want, what you want it to look like and like what you don't want it to look like. And so I had all these pictures ready and I didn't even have to show Dr. Gersey what I wanted. He immediately fit the nose to my face, what he thought would look best. And what he thought would look best was what I ultimately dreamed of. Um, so it was kind of really cool that we were on the same page and I felt a lot more confident going into surgery the next day knowing that I didn't have to show him what I wanted. He already knew what I wanted in a way and he was able to show me that we were like on the same page. So that was the pre-op. The night of before my surgery, I had to stop eating and drinking at midnight. So I couldn't have anything to eat or drink before my surgery leading up to it. I believe I had to be at the office at one o'clock. So from midnight the night before, 12, not even 12, 13 hours, I couldn't have anything to eat or drink. So I was a little starving, so that was rough. I got to the office the next day at one o'clock. Uh, I got called back into the back surgery room. I put on my little gown. I put on my little hair bonnet thing. I put on my compression socks and I sat down. I got like my blood pressure taken. Um, they took my temperature to make sure I was all good. I was sitting there for a little bit, watching some YouTube videos calm down. The anesthesiologist came in. He kind of gave me the rundown of what was going to go on, um, what to expect, asked if I had any questions. I looked at some paperwork, signed some paperwork, and then pretty much what happened from there is I waddled myself back to the operating room. I had to sit up on the operating table, which is crazy because the operating room was just this bright room. I didn't have my contacts in either, so it was just everything was blurry. I didn't know where I was going. So I had to sit, lay down on this operating table. I had my IV in as well at that point. So honestly, I remember getting onto the little bed and then I was out. And then and the next thing I knew, I woke up in the recovery room. I needed to pee really bad because they pump you with a lot of fluids. Uh, but yeah, so I woke up in recovery um, and then I waited to be wheeled out and I was sent on my way home. That was a really long winded answer, but I feel like all the details matter when you are so interested in getting the surgery as well. And you kind of like, I don't know, I stress out about the little things. So I wanted to give you guys a well-rounded idea of what happened. The next question is what was recovery like? Honestly, recovery wasn't that bad for the first week. The first week is when you have like your tape and your cast on and you have to be like super, super careful. Um, and you have the, um, they call them tampons because they look like little tampons, but it's the packing. They have the packing in your nose for the first night. So the first night was absolutely the worst. I couldn't breathe. I woke up so many times in the middle of the night. Like I just couldn't breathe a lot. And I had to sleep with my like mouth open. So my mouth kept getting really dry. It was just a whole nightmare. The first night was not fun. It wasn't painful, but it just was really uncomfortable. And the next day I went back to the office and they took out the packing in my nose. That was awful too. Um, I didn't expect it. I thought it was gonna be like relieving, but no, it sucked. Um, I almost passed out. It didn't hurt or anything. It just was so weird. Like they just pulled it out from your nose and ugh, I don't know. I did not like it. Other than that, the recovery wasn't that bad. Like I was chilling. I didn't really have to have anyone take care of me either. Um, I was pretty independent queen. I was able to do everything pretty much myself. Um, and my bruising really wasn't that bad. I'll put up some pictures of how my bruising was. Um, but it was pretty okay. I, I honestly had a really great recovery process and I'm still recovering today. Um, but... I have no issues so far. I've had a great experience. Next question is what can you do exercise wise after surgery? Nothing, you can't do anything. You can go on like a light little walk, which if you guys know me and you aren't just finding this on your recommended YouTube page and you're interested in rhinoplasties, I am a huge gym rat. I'm always at the gym. I go to the gym like every single day for my mental health. So the fact that I have not been able to weight lift for the past four weeks now has been insane and I miss it so much. I can't wait to get back into it, um, but I can't do anything for six weeks, so. That's okay, it's gonna be worth it for my nose, look all cute and tiny and snatched. How long till it's completely healed and I'm completely recovered? 
It takes one year to fully heal from a rhinoplasty. So the nose is going to continue to shrink and refine and have the little small details um, throughout the next year. But most of the swelling goes down within the first uh, month to six weeks. So I'm in the first month right now. Most of my swelling has gone down. There's still internal swelling and like little details are starting to show every single day. So it's just kind of like, it's fun. It's like my nose is morphing. It's like a little caterpillar morphing into its final form. Next question is, uh, have you had to sneeze after your surgery? Which was super funny because I never even thought about that. Like you're not able to sneeze. The lady during my pre-op, she was like, okay, so like when, if you need to sneeze, like, you know, if you have boogies in your nose and you don't want the boogies to come out, you, you want to sneeze through your mouth. So the boogies don't come out. And I was like, you know, I've never had that situation happen, but I can imagine how that would be. I didn't have to sneeze up until like three weeks post-op, which was kind of cool because like, my nose was pretty much coagulated together. She was recovering, she was fine. Um, so when I did sneeze, it wasn't like anything crazy, um, but it didn't hurt or anything. It's just kind of funny to sneeze out of my mouth. <laughs> The next question is favorite part about surgery recovery. Um, honestly, surgery recovery isn't really fun at all. I guess I could say like having a break from working out, but honestly that sucks for me. I would rather be working out. Um, but I guess having my new nose is the best part about recovery because if I'm ever like sad about the fact I can't work out or just like blow my nose, I can just be like, mm, I have this tiny little nose now and it's all worth it. The next question is what doctor did you go to and why? I went to Dr. Gersey in Coral Gables, Miami. I loved his work, so I wanted to go to him. I researched a ton online about different surgeons and he was one of my top picks and everything just kind of lined up. Next question is what is the cost? Uh, so people ask me this all the time as well. I feel like with any surgery, um, you're gonna have questions about what the cost is. The cost can range from 9,000 to 15,000, depending on a bunch of factors, location, surgeon, if you're going to be put under for the surgery, if you're going to be awake during the surgery, because anesthesia costs money, the operating room costs money. But my surgery in particular costed 9,000. I'm very happy with the price that I paid. I think that with any like enhancement that I do in my life, I would rather spend more money and not cut corners than go somewhere where it could be done cheaper and then maybe not be the best result. I think that whenever you're doing something that changes your appearance so drastically, like a nose job or something that lasts for a long time, I think that you should really not try to cut corners and do your research and not always go with the cheapest price because at the end of the day, it's gonna be on your face forever and I'd rather pay a significant amount more of money and have a nose that I'm in love with than paying next to nothing and having a botched nose and having to spend more money to get it fixed. The next question is, would you have done anything different? If I were to do anything differently, I'd probably come into Miami um, a day prior to my pre-op because it was just really stressful with the flight getting canceled and trying to get to my pre-op appointment on time. So the last question on this Q&A is, are you going to be getting any more procedures done? And the answer is no. I, I don't know why. I, I think people see plastic surgery as like a slippery slope. And like once you get one pro like procedure, you're going to get another procedure and then you're going to get another one and just not look the same at all. And that's not true at all. I feel like especially with rhinoplasties, um, they really enhance someone's quality of life. Y you know, like you're always looking at someone's nose and it's always it's like the focal point of the face. So I know the only thing I've ever wanted to change was my nose and I'm so happy that I got it finally done and I was able to have this new nose that I love and I'm excited about and I'm excited to take pictures of my side profile for once. Um, so I, I no, I don't need to get any more surgeries. I don't have any more surgeries planned. The only other like enhancing procedure I've had is my lip filler and honestly like, I got lip filler because it made my face look more balanced because my nose was so large on my face. And now that I have my nose job, I don't think I'm gonna get lip filler anymore. So I don't think anyone should have a say in what you do on your body. Um, it's your own body. And if it makes you happy, then that's all that matters at the end of the day, because you're the only person that has to make yourself happy, right? So that was the last question. Thank you so, so much for watching my Q and A. I know it was a short little video, but I wanted to document this whole thing while I'm still like pretty recent with my nose job. Um, maybe I'll do an updated Q&A in like six months when everything's healed a little bit more, maybe a post-op of a year, we'll see. But honestly, I'm so happy with how everything has turned out and I, I'm just, I'm, 
I'm ecstatic. I'm excited for my new nose. I loved the doctor I went to, the surgeon, Dr. Gersey, he was amazing. Just do your research if you're going to be getting your nose done and really mesh with the doctor, really understand and have them know what you're looking for so you guys don't have any misunderstandings and you end up with the nose of your dreams. I'm going to head out. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up. All my socials are linked down below. Go follow them. Instagram, we post pretty much every day. I have been slacking a little bit because I have been kind of sad without going to the gym, but we're working on it. We're making it better. I'm doing more photo shoots too. I'm getting back into that as well. I love you guys very, very much and I'll see you guys next time.